It's hard to believe what I know, but the Seat Ibiza is now 40 years old. And while most 40 plus year olds have given up their clubbing days at the Spanish island it's named after, I speak from experience there, Seat is making a bit of a song and dance about the Ibiza. That's why we have a new special edition on Seat, it's called the FR40. Before we get into what makes up the FR40, let's take a look back at the history of the Ibiza. It kicked off with that original, quite square, quite a distinctive shape, and it actually was the first car say it developed itself. It had a bit of help, admittedly. Porsche was involved with the engines, and a company called Carmen helped with the production process. On top of all that, an Italian outfit did the design. It's called the Tal Design. Let's hear from the designer himself now. There was a Ibiza for the Seat, and a first pass to create some products non studiati da altre case o riprodotti eh, come sono. The meaning of the Ibiza for the brand is, is clear. Seat was almost reborn with the Ibiza in the 80s. Le proporzioni dell'Ibiza direi sono il forte dell'architettura. Questa ampia vetrata e questa linea semplice ma soprattutto La caratteristica fondamentale è questo sportello che si nasconde nelle linee di fiancata. Ovviamente si vede il taglio per poter avere questo sportello. By the time Seat developed the second generation Ibiza, it had become part of the Volkswagen Group. And that brought serious benefits. It was able to use all of its technology, its underpinnings, and it has a much wider range of engines. The design was still done by Ital Design, so it evolved very much from that original. And again, let's take a look what the designer had to say about that. Ibiza 2 coglie quella che è l'evoluzione tecnologica. Quindi c'è di appropriarsi della possibilità di modellare in modo diverso utilizzando tutte le caratteristiche tecnologiche che oggi o allora si potevano sfruttare. Rappresenta in modo concreto il desiderio di molti ragazzi di avere una vettura sportiva e nello stesso tempo funzionale. L'Ibiza rappresenta il cuore di questo brand. Dall'Ibiza partono tutti i modelli, dal linguaggio estetico e, e, e anche dal linguaggio di prodotto. For the third and fourth generations of the Ibiza, Seath took the design in-house. Didn't change the core recipe, of course, it was still a practical hatchback. In fact, it leaned into the sporty side a little bit more, and the third generation was the first to come with the FR badge. That meant Formula Racing, and it's still a badge you can find on Seath today. The fourth generation, meanwhile, was the first to introduce an estate, it was called the Sports Tourer, which was quite a practical alternative to the hatchback. There is a huge amount of classic uh, feeling uh, in the DNA of the today's Ibiza because it starts with the proportions, really short overhangs, the wheels at the four corners, the orchestration of the masses, the muscles around on top of the wheels, and this really clear, simple architecture is what is part of the tradition and is going to carry on but without being a traditional product. Which brings us back to the current generation and the FR40. As the name suggests, it's based on the Beta FR, which is a sportier version in the range, but it gets a few nice touches to differentiate it. As you get in, for instance, there's this little badge on the pillar here. As you come around, there's these lovely Cosmo Grey 18-inch alloy wheels. That complements this paintwork nicely. It's a special colour, it's called Graphene Grey. That's on top of the usual FR bits and pieces, of course. You've got a sportier bumper up front here and another one in the rear. As you get into the car, you'll see those special edition plates on the door, which is a nice touch. The rest of the interior is a subtle upgrade from the FR specification. Unique is this material around the air vents. It's textured, it's grey, it complements the exterior paintwork, and this weighs a material across the dashboard. It's nice and warm to the touch, nice and smooth as well. A bit of a high quality extra. Elsewhere, the Ibiza was upgraded a few years ago and that brought with it a significant upgrade to the interior. So the touchscreen in the middle has full link as Seat calls it. It's Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and it's complemented by really decent digital instrumentation in front of you. From the driver's point of view, you can see this retains the FR's sporty steering wheel. It's got a leather rim, red stitching and an FR badge at the bottom. I'm sitting in sportier seats, Seat calls them bucket seats, and they've got a unique FR upholstery as well. 
There are three different engine options for the F-440, though they're all based on the core one-liter TSI petrol engines, quite a familiar three-cylinder engine at this stage. The entry-level model, that is 95 horsepower, that's a manual gearbox only. Next up is a 115 horsepower version of the same thing, again with a manual gearbox. And at the top of the tree is the DSG Automatic we're driving here. Again, 115 horsepower, front-wheel drive. As part of the F4 specification, you get a drive mode button down here near the gear selector and you can choose from eco, normal, sport and individual modes. In individual mode, you can chop and change the settings to your own preferences. And that's the F440 in a nutshell. It's a subtle celebration of the Ibiza, 40 years of the Ibiza. And if you're looking at this and thinking, I like what I see, but I wouldn't mind it shaped like a crossover, say it as your back because there's also an Arona F440. Now, the Arona isn't four years old, obviously, but hey, why let that get in the way? If you liked our introduction to the Ibiza FR40, you'll find lots more Ibiza content on our website. It's completecar.ie and it's a great resource for choosing your next new car.